I made a neck protector for my welding helmet to protect me from sunlight and sparks and whatever. Um, and it's pretty easy to do. It takes a little bit of time, but it's something you can sit in front of the TV set and kind of occupy yourself doing. Uh, and it's worked out pretty well. Let me uh, show you some close-ups on how I did it. We'll get a little closer up, but what I've done is I took a small fine drill bit and a Dremel. You could use a drill. And I just drilled holes every few millimeters along here. Uh, where I used, uh, uh, used them to stitch the hook and loop fastener on here. So on this side is the loop, on this side is the hook. And again, I'll get a little closer to show you what's going on. But I did this all the way around the helmet. And uh, this allows, using the hook and loop, allows you to be able to remove this uh, if you don't want it or if you just want to take it off and wash it. Okay, so let's do that uh, extra close-up. Here are the stitches on this side. I just stitched through the holes I made with the, the Dremel and use a cotton thread. You don't want to use a polyester because the polyester will break down very quickly with the heat and light from the welder. Uh, cotton thread will last a long time. And then on the other side uh, is the Velcro, is the loop side of the Velcro. And I first put it in there with a little bit of rubber cement, and then again you just stitch through there, and uh, that's it. Oh, and before I forget, I also rub this down with some uh, white glue, the cotton thread, uh, and that'll help uh, protect it from you know abrasion and and uh, the the ultraviolet light that comes off the welder. The material itself is just a lightweight blue jean material. I put the dark side on the inside of the mask uh, to help cut down reflections around the inside of the mask. And then this, of course, is the outside. And then just stitch the Velcro across there. Um, yeah, not, uh, not so, uh, super sophisticated, but uh, it uh, seems to work pretty well. Well, that's it for this DIY neck protector and light blocker. Hope you found it useful and interesting in your welding projects.